Hi and welcome Cancer, Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot forecast for July 2021. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. Awesome to have you here and those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome. Now there is a competition giveaway again this month, so there's some tarot decks up for grabs. So if you're a new subscriber to my channel this month or you opt in to the extended versions of my readings, you'll go into the draw to win the beautiful Kunyin Oracle by Alana Fairchild. I'll be drawing someone randomly. And if you do follow my channel regularly, I'll be looking for a very positive community member. You will go into the draw to win the beautiful Messenger Oracle. And if you watch my readings a lot, you'll know I use that deck all the time. And winners will be announced at the end of the month on my channel. Now, the June 2021 winners have been announced. So Anne Curran, one for a new subscriber, and Noe Ricardo, one for existing members. I need both of you to get in touch with me to claim your prize. The info is down below on how to email me to claim your prize. And uh, if you feel like you need extra guidance and support, make sure to reach out for personal reading. There's an offer this month. You can get $10 off my personal readings. Coupon code is going to pop up here as well as all the info down below. And to get hold of the extended version of this reading, uh, all you need to do is hit the join button on my channel or very first link in the description box below. You get the monthly, mid-monthly, as well as a love forecast in the VIP members area, all just for $5.99 a month. So if you want to invest in yourself every month, go and check those out. Follow me on Instagram, do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there, things you won't see on YouTube. So if you're on Instagram, come and say hi. All right, let's get started, Cancer. So we're jumping straight into predictions with the Angel Wisdom Tarot. And let's see what you need to know. Oh, you got the Six of Fire. It's all about victory. Whenever this comes in, it's very much about being recognized for the achievements you've made. It can be public recognition, awards coming to you, particularly related to career, to interests that you have. It's basically recognizing the hard work that you've been putting in. Oh, this so wants to come out. You pull the wheel, which can represent cycle completions, brand new fresh start. It can represent travel, possibly buying a new vehicle, lots of opportunities coming your way, very positive changes moving forward. And you've got the eight of earth and they're toiling away there. So putting the hard work into what, to your career, your finances, there's a lot of coin there. So working on your coin. For some of you, it can represent possibly wanting to go back to study, to upskill in what you're doing or something new. So if you're thinking of studying something, it's confirmation that, yes, that'd be a good path to follow. Okay, you've got the seven of air. This is kind of interesting. This also came out for Pisces, so just wondering if it's going to be the energy for the second half of the month. Uh, he's running off with all the swords while everyone's back to turn. So just watch out for scams, for people that lack integrity, particularly around your finances. And you got the sun coming out, this very beautiful positive shift in energy. Uh, it can represent things working out very beautifully for you. In the background is the victory sign again, yeah, it's on a horse. So but certainly, certainly for a, a quite a few of you, there's a lot of recognition coming in for the work you've been doing. All right, that one wants to fly out. Oh, you got the strength card with big lion. Very much represents relying on your personal strength. You're uh, coming to a place of inner peace, just recognizing that things are going to work out fine for you. Watched over by an angel, by the way. And you've got the ten of fire. Quite a lot of fire energy coming out for you. Working too hard, yeah. Spirit's saying there needs to be more balance between your career and your personal life. Time for self. And you've got the Queen of Water. So this can represent self. It can represent someone you're connecting to. Highly intuitive, psychic, seeking your spiritual guidance. You've got the tarot deck right next to us sitting on the ground, yeah. Um, a lot of watery energy coming through. So trusting in the spiritual guidance that comes through to you. Love of family, love of friendships.
And you've got the page of air. So he's very contemplative, takes a very sensible, practical approach to life. Uh, you can get some insights coming through to you in terms of moving forward on your path. And you've also got the six of air. So you've got a mix of fire, fire energy and uh, air energy coming through. Represents the end of a difficult, challenging time in your life. Uh, more positivity coming through, expecting things to get better. Again, it can represent travel. Some of you may be wanting to relocate. All right, let's give you some guidance with the Muse Tarot. Mm, you got the Eight of Voices, so feeling a bit stuck. Whenever this comes up, it's usually our emotions or our mindset holding ourselves stuck. What else does Cancer need to know? Oh, wow, you got the Hierophant again seeking your spiritual knowledge, your spiritual guidance. The Hierophant in this uh, tarot deck represents forging your own path, doing things your own way, not listening to naysayers, people criticizing you. So trusting your own intuition, your own wisdom, high states of consciousness in alignment with spiritual guidance. And you've got the three of inspiration, so a big domino effect. So Spirit's saying whatever you're working on is in progress right now. Just keep moving forward. And you've got the eight of materials, which represents your mastery, your expertise that you have, being recognized for that, your high-quality work. I love this. You've got the emperor. it has got this amazing energy, so... Very much a lot of confidence, a lot of strength, forges through things, doesn't let anything stop her on her path, can certainly represent going after what it is you want. And it's come out with the Muse of Inspiration, which is a mirrored effect, but very much in balance. Uh, in balance, not imbalance, right? It's a king in this deck, so it represents being a visionary. It represents your inspired ideas. There's a, there's a dare I say, a, Pyramid in the background representing your ancient wisdom, possibly from ancient Egypt. There's a lot of fire energy going off. So it's not only just having those great ideas, but it's actually taking action on them, making them a reality. Working with others, possibly on a global scale, big picture of you. Yeah. All right, let's put you some guidance from your angels. What does a cancer needs to know right now? Oh, you got protection. It says, you are safe. Do not fear. We are always with you and surround you with our invisible wings of light. Definitely your angels watching over you right now. And imagine, clearly visualize the life you want. Feel it in your heart and soul and so it will come to be. Which is a very beautiful thing to do because it means you're sending those positive vibrations out to the universe. And do it now. Do not put it off any longer. Have courage. Listen to your intuition for it is the guiding voice of your soul, which very much represents the emperor energy. Yeah, going after what it is you want. All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Journey of Love Oracle. Oh, this is gorgeous. You've got gifts received. Oh, that's the most beautiful message, dare I say. Mm -hmm. It says Cancer. Relax. It's okay to accept what's coming your way now. Gentle your soul, steady your heart. Even the most precious treasure can be received by you. And why not? Are you not built of the same stuff as that treasure, beloved? It's all love, after all. That is all there is. So enjoy, accept, rest in the knowledge that you'll be invited into a sanctuary of abundance, prosperity, peaceful rest and replenishment now and it's just your time. So this oracle brings a message for you. The universe is trying to get something to you. More abundance, more love, an answer to a prayer. Sometimes the healing comes in unexpected packages. And sometimes we try so hard to find the answer, exerting so much effort to receive that we make things harder for ourselves than they need to be. So relax, have some fun, 
be at peace, everything is working out just fine and there's a nice surprise coming your way. Oh, how beautiful. It's a very brief poem here. It says, the wind blows softly through grass and my open heart, love unexpected. So for some of you, it'll be a beautiful love connection. Uh, for others, a very beautiful gift coming your way from the universe. Mm -hmm. All right, my loves, those are your messages. For those of you watching the free version of this reading, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. It absolutely helps my channel and the subscribe button. We are going into the extended version next. So remember, all you need to get access to that is join, hit the join button on my channel or very first link below. There's absolutely this beautiful sense of accomplishment, being recognized for achievements coming in, yeah, the victory. So we'll certainly focus on that. Uh, there's this beautiful positive shift in energy, optimism, success coming your way. Uh, I do love this emperor energy for you, yeah. I mean, you got the message from spirit to do it now. And uh, very much the end of very challenging times, brand new beginnings. Below. Those of you that are leaving us right now, awesome to have you here. Make sure to come back again. VIP members, those going into the extended, hanging around, we're going into your general energies next. All right, Cancer, going to pull you a central energy from the uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. Oh, that one's flying out. Oh, you pulled the High Lord of Gratitude and Service, which often means giving to others in terms of your life path. Let's pull you up the guidance. A little Buddha sitting there with a, a lotus flower in his hand. says cancer this oracle has come to help you find your true purpose today feeling gratitude for each moment you experience and loving what is and what has been will remind you that every breath you take holds a deep and profound awareness through small actions and selfless service to another you're automatically placed upon your highest path whether you're immediately aware of it or not the presence of this ally lets you know that you're on the correct path to fulfilling your desires you're also notified that your actions of service and attitude of gratitude will yield riches beyond your wildest dreams, as long as those riches aren't the goal you have in mind. Giving service with no thought of return is what's required of you today. It would be a good time to write a list reminding yourself of all the things in your life and the world around you you have to be grateful for. And if your question refers to a relationship, let gratitude be your guide. Be thankful for all you learn from this person. Truly, there are no friends and no enemies, just teachers along the way on life's journey. Be grateful for the laughter and even for the tears. The attitude of gratitude is a magnet for true love in all forms. It's a beautiful practice to do. I often do it when I'm out in nature. Yes, I might spend half my walk just being present or releasing stress. The second half, yeah, I def definitely do a practice of listing, listing all the things that I'm grateful for, which just totally changes your vibration, yeah? All right, in terms of general energies, we're going to uh, pull four key areas of focus with the Sacred Destiny Oracle and then lots of clarifiers. What is it Cancer needs to know right now? Mm, you've got release here, so certainly a need to release anything from the past that's holding you stuck, any emotions that don't serve you, any stress. Oh, some of you have absolutely got love coming into your life. A focus on love. And Spirit's saying just to be really patient at this time. Things may not be happening as fast as you want them to. Oh, you've also got simplicity, which is the white feather. It means just focusing on those things that have value and meaning to you, not saying yes to things you don't want to do. Uh, getting very clear about where you want to spend your time, put your time and energy. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the uh, energy oracle, firstly uh, around release. You've got the thinking man here. So it can represent a physical person to you. 
guys very much being very balanced and rational you've also got your throat chakra here so it can certainly mean speaking your truth being very honest with self with others and you've got the door to value opening money flying through the door for some of you the voice the message you have to share is going to open your door to money And you've got your vitality here, your solar plexus chakra. So a need to build that up. For some of you that have been through poor health, it can re represent a return to good health. Let's have a look at love. Oh, you got that angel of love absolutely wanting to touch your life here. And Spirit's saying just to very much trust your intuition when it comes to choices in love, what's right for you. Oh, you've got man holding a heart here. So guys, definitely putting yourselves out there. You can absolutely represent a love interest. All right, let's have a look at having patience. Mm, Spirit's saying just to be very appreciative, grateful, live in the present moment. Appreciate how amazing you are. Don't recycle through things in the past. Don't future pace yourself. Just be present. you got yin and yang, which is knowing when to take action, when to rest. It's all about the state of balance and wholeness. 22 is letting go, taking a leap of faith. you got healer of the ages here. So some of you, this is absolutely your life path, directly related to your money flow. Can certainly for some of you be in teaching, coaching, public speaking, getting on stage, a message you have to share with the world. And there's a bit of anxiety going on. It can be in relation to that path. It can be in relation to love choices. Let's put you some guidance for others that may be around your health and well-being. You're thinking man, thinking woman. So spirit's saying just to be very balanced and grounded. There's certainly a divine pair coming out here. Let's have a look at simplicity. Okay. You've got deceit here. So just watch that energy. It's come out twice now. Don't forget it came out in your predictions. Someone running off with all the swords. You can't be deceiving yourself about something, but we'll get some more clarity on that. Uh, you got your emotions here. So a need to balance your emotions for sure. And you've got the magician in the mirror. So Spirit's saying whatever you want to create in your life, Cancer, you have the capacity, the power to do that. Uh, if there's anything you're deceiving yourself about, it's about facing that side of self, particularly around your emotions. And you've got the journey card. Some of you absolutely traveling. can represent transformation going on. Any other guidance for cancer, please? Mm, you got your root chakra here. So certainly a focus on your sense of security, stability at this time. And there's a bit of indecision going on. Do I go left? Do I go right? To um, I'm going to say directly related to deceit. So it may be something you're deceiving yourself about. Any other guidance there? Yeah, again, you got the message to have patience with yourself. Perhaps you're overthinking things, Spirit saying, and you need to allow life to unfold. Yeah. Let's put some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Firstly, having a look at the need to release things, particularly emotions. You got your money flow opening up, <laughs> being very balanced and grounded. Got your energy here, your voice. Hmm. You got siege, quiet time. Yeah, need to take some time out for self. Contemplation, meditation, relaxation. And you've pulled Irene P. Spirit saying, stop worrying, everything's going to be fine. Particularly in relation to your money and your energy, your vitality. Let's have a look at love here. <laughs> Trust in your intuition around that. You got Coventina purification, a need to detox on every level. Physical body, your emotions, your mindset. Diet, nutrition. And you've got nematoma, sacred space. So doing your spiritual practices, spirit saying it's going to really raise your vibration. 
Let's have a look at having patience, living in the present moment, being in a state of balance and wholeness. You've got healer of the ages here. You've got a sure blossoming abundance. Spirit saying you're just getting started. Don't give up. Keep taking the steps you're guided to take in terms of your path. And you've got Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. I'm going to say treat yourself with kindness and compassion at this time. And very much to watch your energy levels and your emotions. Take time out when you need to. Let's have a look at simplicity over here. Having patience. Got your emotions, your root chakra. Magician. You got Diana focused intent. So Spirit saying just get really focused. What is it that you need to place your energy, put your energy towards, take the steps you're guided to take. You'll hit your mark, particularly in relation to your finances. And just be really honest with yourself. What's most important to you? You've got pearl divine passion. What's in your heart space? What do you want, Cancer? Oh, there's a true love coming in. Love of a lifetime coming into your life. I'm going to say to you, it's not here yet. It's coming towards you. It's not here yet. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. Firstly, this top row about releasing anything you need to release, taking quiet time out for self, your money opening up, your money flow, your health. Okay, you've got Morganite relationship healing. So there's ability to heal relationships with others if you're having any conflict with others. Good energy for it. You've also got Chrysotile, your animals. So if you have animals, some of you may be thinking of getting a pet. Your animals may need extra support at this time. It can be animal spirit guides crossing your path. Let's have a look at love here in this second row. All about love. Need to do a bit of a detox. Do your spiritual practices. Oh, you've got the Master Teacher card, Divine Temple Source. So very much a focus on getting into your higher states of consciousness out of your lower chakras. Any other guidance there? Yeah, another confirmation, you've got a soulmate coming in. And you've also got red jasper, healthy boundaries. So I'm going to say to you, Cancer, that there needs to be a focus on you and not so much on doing things for other people. You really need to take some time for self, second half of July. All right, let's have a look at having patience, living in the present moment, watching your energy, your emotions, being very balanced. Oh, darlings, you pulled patience three times. Massive message. <laughs> oh, you got past life, lapis lazuli. So you may have stuff coming up from the past that you're recycling through. For some of you, you may get more awareness if your divine gifts and talents coming through. And you pulled compassion twice. So a need to be compassionate with self. Let's have a look at the other side here about getting really focused on where you want to put your time, your energy. Focus on your money. There's true love sitting here. Mm, you got the message to take action. So move yourself forward. And you've got black of city in the shadow side of self. Some of you need to face the shadow side of self. Anything coming up for you emotionally. Worry, fear, doubt. Mm, darlings. You've got Kunzite self-love, doing those practices that make you feel really good, yeah? Healthy things for self, spending time on those things you love doing that build up your, um, your sense of fun, adventure, creativity, stillness, quiet time, rejuvenation. Spirit saying your abundance is absolutely coming in, Cancer. you just got to be patient with the timing of it. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. Mm, here it is. I need for you to know your fears and face your fears. Whatever's coming up for you, particularly around money. Mm -hmm. You got the message to see the truth. It's about self because it's directly related to, I mean, we've got love here, but really what's sticking out for me here is purification. What areas of your life do you need to do a detox in? Is it your health and well-being? Is it your emotions? Is it your mental chatter that's going on in your head? Yeah. Is it where you need to put healthy boundaries in place with people? 
You've also got the message to observe in silence, which is watching the intentions of others around you, making sure that what's whatever's going on in your life, particularly in terms of relationships, whether it be family, friends, love interests, that they're in your best interest, yeah? Best intentions. You've also got the message to trust in magic, directly related to true love coming into your life, abundance coming into your life. Let me hold this up for you. Spirit really saying to relax, my darlings. This is what's coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Got to believe it, though. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. Dare I say, there's quite a few chakras here at the moment. Mm -hmm. You got your root chakra. You got your solar plexus. You got your intuition, which is your third eye chakra. You got your crown chakra. Oh, you got the message to spend some time with friends. It would be really good for you at this time. And do some things that are adventurous. That's your inner child. Lighten your inner child up. And, oh, here we go. High, high antioxidant diet, spirit saying. Um, very much look at your nutrition. Going to boost up your vitality. What does that mean? As natural as possible, farm to table. What does that mean? Um, whether it be organic, but lots of fresh vegetables, fruit, lean meats, um, berries, Mm-hmm. Protein. All right, let's have a look at spiritual guidance in terms of who you're connected to in the spirit realm right now. Your divine gifts and talents, your animal spirit guides. Oh, you got the lion. So very much represents strength and courage at this time. Oh, you got God here. So whether you believe in God or not, definitely can just pray straight to him and ask for what you want right now. Certainly watching over you. And sound therapy would be very good for you right now, but it could also be that you're gifted in sound therapy. All right, let's put you some uh, career guidance in terms of your talents, those of you around your life purpose, life path. Oh, you crave your freedom. So whenever you, whatever you do in terms of your life path, there needs to be an aspect of having some freedom in it for self. And you prefer to be in a leadership role, yeah, versus following. You prefer to be able to take charge, possibly look after people. Oh, major life changes. Some of you are heading in a new direction. Love to hear if that resonates with you. All right, let's pull you a crowning energy from the uh, Cosmic Activation of the Soul Oracle. What does a Cancer needs to know at this time? Mm, you pull the message to let go. I mean, you've also got the message here to release. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Cancer, it's time to relinquish your need for control and release your tight grip on how you think the world and everyone in it should be. Letting go is an emotional, spiritual, physical and mental process of releasing yourself to the universal spirit of love. It's giving up your need to control the outcome of every situation and the control of people you hold most dear. This period can be challenging in many ways and spirit asks you to have faith. Have faith that the universe will guide you and send forth the outcomes needed for your journey. We understand you've been this way for a long time and the need for control stems from your youth when hurt, disorder and instability was felt. Spirit understands your need for caution, but holding on and controlling every aspect of your life is taking its toll. Hanging on so tightly does not bring you the outcomes you desire. Instead, it serves to repel all that you cling to. Your soul longs to be free and dance through the winds of change. If you deny this part of you the freedom to play, the universe will send the right personal situation to help unlock the free-spirited child within you. This may come at a time not best suited to your plans and may leave you feeling vulnerable and confused. Dear one, it's time. It's time to let go. Letting go of your need to control will set you and others free. And most interesting, directly related to your vitality, your solar plexus chakra. So some of you are holding on way too tight to outcomes, worrying about things. 
And there's an affirmation here. It says, Great Spirit, please give me the strength to let go of all that I cling to. Divinely guide my thoughts, my words and actions with love and understanding. Very congruent messages coming through for you, Cancer. Mm -hmm. Love to hear your feedback, your comments on how this resonated with you. Make sure to hit the like button. It really helps my channel. Reach out if you feel like you need a personal reading or distance Reiki energy healing session with me. Take it easy, my loves. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.